Hello guys, Keith White on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub to uh, the channel already, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're well over 3,000 subscribers now, so yeah, let's keep this momentum going. Make sure to drop a sub if you haven't already, and, you, and if you have been watching the videos the past 28 days, it would help me out massively. So, getting on to today's video, we're going to be talking about some transfer news. Now, of course, the transfer window um, closes, sh uh, slams shut in just over a week's time. So here we go. We've got some transfer news. We haven't had a lot of transfer news in the last couple of days, have we? So here we go. Sources, Birmingham City and Reading fa um, race to sign Bournemouth star Kilkenny. Birmingham and Reading are plotting moves, uh, moves for Bournemouth midfielder Gavin Kilkenny. Sources have told Football Insider. Championship side Birmingham and League One outfit Reading are both looking to strengthen their midfield options. They have, re they have registered, uh, registered their interest in signing Kilkenny before the window slams shut. The 23-year-old had spells on loan at Stoke and Charlton last season, has been on the bench for Bournemouth's opening two Premier League games against West Ham United and Liverpool, having impressed in pre-season for the Cherries. Uh, the, the Republic of Ireland under-21 international made just four appearances during his loan spell stint at Stoke, which was cut short in the January transfer window. Um, however, the midfielder featured just as um, sparingly, uh, sparingly, 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 yeah, yeah, that word. In his temporary spell with League One, Charlton, he played just eight times. He made 14 appearances for Bournemouth in the 21/22 season, um, but was seen but was deemed surplus to requirements following their promotion to the Premier League. The 23-year-old, who could also play in defensive midfielder as well as, as in a more attacking berth, is out of contract at Bournemouth um, in June 2025. So, Gavin Kilkenny is linked with Blues, 23 years old, midfielder, under-21s international. Looking at his play, player profile here on transfer market, he can not only play in central midfielder, central midfielder, he can also play in defensive midfield and attacking midfield. Now, people are saying that we don't need, we don't need any more midfielders. We need a striker, which I agree with, but he's very versatile. This player is, he is very very versatile, and also Gary Gardner. Can we really like our our backup options are going to be like Gary Gardner? Yes, we have got like a handful of we have I think got like five midfielders. So if we was to come in, then maybe one another one or maybe even two midfielders leave the football club. But um, I like that I like the fact that he's versatile. Um, I think we should try and get this sorted. But obviously, the main if it, if I was if I was to decide before the window closes. Should we get a mid, another midfielder in or a striker? Obviously, it's going to be the striking option, isn't it? That um, I'm going to be looking at. But yeah, let me know what you think about this um, Bournemouth midfielder. Like I said, can play multiple positions. And um, yeah, I mean, we've got Simon Sunic, of course, Christian Bielik. But Christian Bielik, of course, is very injury prone. Um, Gary Garner can't play. Gary Garner isn't really versatile. He can't really play in an attacking position, can he? Um, Bakuna can anyway yeah it's going to be interesting to see what happens the window closes in just over a week's time like I said at the start of the video and if we was to sign a striker we would have done it by now they've been here like over a month now and there's still no striker coming through the door if we was to sign a striker I said it to someone I think we'll get someone in on deadline day like a loan signing basically like a panic uh, deal of course because San Cosgrove it looks like it's going to be leaving as well going to Charlton so yeah, if that happens, then obviously we're gonna have to look into bringing. A, we're gonna have to look to bring a striker, and we need one anyway. Even if Dan Crossgrove does stay, to be fair. But yeah, thanks for watching. As always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like I said, keep your eyes on.